Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. I am so excited you're here today for today's video because it is because we got some good stuff to talk about. People are outside mowing their lawn and I hope you can't hear it. Normally you can't hear the things that I hear whenever I edit the video. So I'm just like, please stop. So you guys have requested this so much and me and Morphe have come together to bring it to you and I am so excited to talk about indigestion to talk about it. It is my favorite brushes in a collection with a beautiful bag. It's Marley's favorite brushes. Oh my gosh, how freaking cute with a little bag. And it comes with this little piece that tells you all about each brush um, and how I use them. So if you kind of need a play by play, it is on the back of the packaging. I'm so excited. I think it is so cute. So this is an 11 brush piece set. In this kit, you have every single brush to do your makeup. You can do a full face of makeup, including your eyeliner with this brush set, cream product and powder product, eyeshadow. You can do it all, just this brush set. So I am so excited about it. Now these are the brushes that you have seen me use day in and day out on my channel for the longest time. So finally they are in a kit together at a very discounted price. <sighs> That's the best part, um, the price of these it's amazing and also there's a brush in here that I've been using on the low low and haven't really let you guys know about because Morphe doesn't even sell this brush. It is a special brush in my collection that I kind of created that Morphe just needed and they didn't have and I was like hey guys like I need a brush that's like this for this and I'm going to talk about it a little later. So there's a brush in here you haven't seen before from Morphe. Um, and it's in my collection, so very exclusive, and I'm so excited to share that with you. So without further ado, we're gonna sing the subscribe song, and then I'm gonna jump right into this video, and baby, we're gonna let it roll, honey. Be sure and subscribe and turn your notifications on for more yummy subscribe. You liked that remix, didn't you? <laughs> Let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Ooh, she's losing it. I've been waiting forever to talk about this with you guys. Ugh. So, and I just want to let you guys know this is separate from my Larley Los Angeles launch. Separate, separate, separate. That is happening this month. That video will be up very soon on what I'm launching, but let me just let you know that this will be a great addition to what I am launching. This will launch first. That will launch later on this month, but soon I'll have a launch date. If I don't have a launch date for what I'm launching for Larley Los Angeles, my own brand, I'll put it on the screen. Um, if I have that day, if I don't have it yet, it won't be on the screen, girl. No. Just had to hang on a little bit longer. So this, again, is aside from the Larley Los Angeles launch. So just so there's no confusion there. Let me just start by saying that you can get this right now. It is for nine. That is when this launches. This brush kit is for sale. I will have a link right down below, morphebrushes.com, my favorites. Plus, plus, let me talk about the price real quick. So this is 11 piece brush set plus the bag that they come in. So it's your little travel bag or to keep your all your brushes in. If you bought all this separately, it would be $81. But I wanted to keep this really affordable. You guys ask me all the time, what is an affordable brush? How can I get a full face and makeup brush that's affordably? So I was like, guys, my goal with this whole kit is to keep the price low. Like I just, I just want the price to be low. I don't want to add a bunch of unnecessary brushes that you're not going to be using every day. I want to make a core brush kit that people can use every single brush every day and they won't be wasting their money, but it's not too big or it's not too small. So we got the price down to $54, what? but that's not it. Also, you can get 15% off this collection with my code. They give me a very special code. This is not a normal code and only I have it, it is Larly15. So you can get 15% off Morphe items. This code is only good for a limited amount of time. It is good right now, 4 9 through 4 13 at 11 59 PST. The code will be over, but then you can still use my regular code, Larly for 10% off all Morphe products. I also have a favorites page at morphebrushes.com. If you haven't seen that, it has all my favorite products on it. This will be on it. This will be easy to find. It'll be on the homepage of Morphe. And again, you can get 15% off of it, $54 plus 15% off. Originally an $81, this is a hell of a deal and I am so excited about it. So now I think it's time that we dive into the brushes, what's in the bag and how I use them. So I like to just slide this off. Um, that is my signature on the front. I sound real pretty for you guys. <laughs> so I like this brush bag too because it's so soft and easy to travel with, but I like it because 
most of us already have a couple makeup brushes and I didn't want a bag where the brushes would be so tight in here. I wanted a little bit of space. So if you're traveling, here are the brushes that come in the kit, but you could also pop in a couple of your brushes that you already own. So there's some space for some more brushes to go in here. It has a really beautiful silky nude or pink silky satiny finish on the inside. And then the outside is a pretty nude color. These are like my favorite colors. So I picked the color of the bag and then here comes the good stuff. So I think our best place to start here in this video is face brushes. Those are normally my most exciting to talk about to me. That's like what makes me most excited. So I think we know what brush I'm gonna bring up first. And if this brush wasn't in this kit, then I don't need a brush kit. It is the Y6 brush from Morphe. I've been using this for such a long time for my foundation. It is a flat top kabuki brush. It is wildly soft and just the right amount of denseness to flawlessly blend out your foundation. It also leaves your foundation with this beautiful like airbrushed finish, so soft, no brush streaks. I like to stipple out my foundation with this brush and then I like to go in and tap, 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 stipple and then go in and kind of swab it around to give that airbrush like finish on the face and my makeup comes out flawless. Also something I really love about this brush, I find that the bristles don't really absorb a lot of your foundation. I hate when foundation brushes just suck up all your foundation. Foundation is expensive y'all and I'm not trying Trying to let my foundation brush have all the glory here it is for my face so I really like this about this brush now as you guys know I normally have like 10 of these lying around because foundation brushes I tend to like to wash them the most because bacteria your face spreading germs around so I normally have a bunch of these lying around but you will get one in the kit this is from the gilded collection this is an amazing brush and it's great with any cream product honestly because it has that blunt edge you can definitely blend out a cream contour with it you guys have seen me a million times and blend out concealer with it but just but just hang on because you ain't gonna be blending out concealer with it no more those days are over honey okay really excited because this is the brush I was talking about that you guys haven't seen yet that I kind of created with Morphe and that I just really needed to exist so we made it exist so this is the brand new this is the M536 brush it is also a mini kabuki brush it is a cream product brush and it is a beautiful brush so it has this dome shaped tapered top to it and it is a very soft kabuki again it just has like that perfect amount of denseness to it and what I love to use this for is to blend out my under eye concealer with it and my concealer all over my face with it it has that dome shape at the top so it just fits like a glove into your under eye and it's so soft and gentle so it's not gonna be pulling or tugging on your under eye I love this for the under eye but I have to be careful because I'll pull with it so this one you can really fit in there and you won't have to pull as much you can really get that soft stroke really gentle on your under eye you definitely need this brush in your life and it also works well because it fits for the chin the forehead and if you want to again you could blend out the cream contour product because it has that small tip on it you can really buff out your cream product really beautifully with this such a great brush to have in your collection and again it's new and special okay so this brush you can use for quite a number of things and any of these brushes like I'm trying to explain to you, you don't have to use them for just one thing. But this brush right here is the Y11 is from the Gilded Collection. Again, you guys have seen me use this Boo Koodles of Time. Now this one and this one are quite different. They both have the really soft bristles, but the Y11 has a longer bristles and they're way less dense. So this one's going to be more dense over here and these are like super flimsy. Um, really great to hold powder product rather than cream product. I find that these are just too not dense if that makes sense and they fling cream product around so this brush is great for powder and again because it has that dome shape tapered top to it you can press and bake or just set your makeup so well with that uh, powder on the under eye with it and you can also because it has like a really nice little tip you can also carve out the cheekbones adding some powder right there and just sprinkle powder all around the face. I really love this brush for powder products because of its density is not that dense. And I also like to use it for a powder contour, but I also have a brush in here for powder contour and I think you guys are gonna know which one it is. That is the R14. This one is from the Rose Gold Collection. So this one has the pretty rose gold top to it and a matte black finish and the writing on it is in rose gold. So this is the perfect size brush for contour so it has a rounded top and the bristles are a little bit more raspy this one's brand spanking new so let me pull out my dirty one 
So if you can see my dirty one is a little more fluffed out and that's how I like the brush. So normally whenever I get a brush kit because in manufacturing they make the brushes so you want to give them a good wash before you start pushing them into your skin. So I like to go ahead and wash them and you'll get this ruffled up really nice brush ready to rock and roll. So when you get this I recommend just giving it a little gentle wash and you'll be ready to rock and roll and it kind of fluffs it out a little bit more. But I'm telling you it just fits so perfectly right in there in the contour area and you can just buff out for days. Bring it around the temple area, hit it, and I'll even get crazy and pinch it because this brush is not that dense, so it's really great with powder product. And pinch it and hit the nose for the contour under the chin. And girl, I hit the jawline. It's just the perfect size brush for the bronzer without spewing the bronzer everywhere, but you get enough bronzer on the brush. So it's absolutely perfect. Must have need in your life contour brush. Next is for blush. Now this is a brush from the Elite Collection. That's a super fancy collection at Morphe. This is the E4 angled brush. If you don't like using brushes like the R4 for contour, this is also a beautiful contour brush. But what I personally like to use it for because it has that nice angle to it is to add blush. I kind of got out of wearing blush and now I'm kind of like way back into wearing blush I don't know I get on and off it but you can use this brush for another number of powder regions it is from the elite collection so it is extremely soft like it feels like baby's bottom butter okay but I always apply blush to this and it just swishes back and forth so beautifully and so gracefully and just spreads out the blush just so evenly just like on the face. So this is an amazing brush for contour, bronzer, or blush. Another one of my, I know all these are my favorites, but this brush, like, I can't do my makeup without. This is the R36. Again, it's from the Rose Gold Collection, so you get the really pretty rose gold uh, top to it and then the matte black finish. So this brush is used for highlighter. And I know you may be saying, okay, so what about the fan brush for highlighter? I personally find that brushes like this distribute the product in a more precise area versus a fan brush. I feel like starts flinging the product, the highlighter everywhere, like all the way into my hair, all the way down to this area where you don't want highlighter. With this, I can be way more precise and it's amazing because I can just hit the tip of my nose and the cubist bow and like around my forehead with it and highlighter is not just exploding everywhere because you got to be careful where you're putting highlighter. We have pores, we don't want to magnify certain areas and this brush is perfect to help you do that without exploding makeup everywhere. So it's, it's a great brush. It has those raspy bristles so it picks up a lot of products so it's going to pick up a lot of your highlighter and again this is a brand spanking new fresh one. The dirty one is a little bit more spread out so give it a little wash. It'll be a little more fluffy. Whew, this brush is everything, baby, everything you need. Now we're going to move on to our eyeshadow brushes. And girl, you have... It's a cat hair on me. Girl, you have seen me use these eyeshadow brushes day in and day out on YouTube. And now it's in a kit for you. Okay, these eyeshadow brushes... I'm gonna explain to you why you need them, okay? <laughs> the first one is the M573 brush. This one is a fluffy blender. Again, this one is clean and this is a dirty one. Let me show you the difference. The dirty ones is a little bit more fluffy. So I like to start every single makeup look with this brush. I like to swish it all over my eyelid. This is a little bit bigger of a blender, so it is amazing if you have a larger eyelid to blend out a transition shade. I'm around a medium eyelid, but I still like to use it because I typically will go in with my looks with a bone shade and just blend it, or even the transition, and blend it all over. Not as precise with this brush, but if you have a large eyelid, this is gonna be amazing for you. But if you have a smaller eyelid, this is also still great to use to soften up your eyeshadow primer or to blend the transition shade when you're not being as precise, you're just getting in there and getting the job done. This is a great, great must-have blender. So the brush that I use basically to create every single makeup look that I do is the R39. This is again the rose gold collection. You get the rose gold top with a matte bottom. So this is a little bit of a smaller medium-sized blender. It's great from large to medium to even small eyelids. It is tapered at the top and it's kind of flat so it pops right into that crease just perfectly perfectly. So you're not going to have color exploding everywhere whenever you use this brush. You're going to get it more precise, but it has those nice raspy bristles where it picks up a lot of color, but it grabs the color and moves the color. So you're able to blend out and move the eyeshadow back and forth, back and forth, and it's actually blending the shade. This brush 
If I had to pick one brush to do my whole entire eye look with, it would be the R39 from Morphe. It is an absolute must have brush. I have like 50 of these and they're all filthy. That's why the only one I'm showing you is a dirty one. Because I don't have any clean ones because I use it every single day, no matter what. Even if I'm putting one color on, I just grab my R39 and I go for it. So this is an amazing brush and of course it's in my kit. So now you might be asking me, well, what about the eyelid? What about shimmer shades? What about cut crease? What about the brow bone? Girl, I got you. I got you. So this is the M421 brush. It is a mini concealer brush, so you can use it to spot conceal if you want to. Again, these brushes have multiple uses, but what I like to use it for is to, it is a synthetic flat brush, by the way, but I like to pack on cream color, um, shimmer colors. You can pick up your shimmer and dampen the brush. Any type of color you're packing on and enhancing color, you want to use this brush. It also has this nice rounded tip to it, so it is literally a perfect brush for a cut crease to add the cream product and to cut the crease with. It also has that nice rounded tip so it fits right under the brow bone and it applies brow bone color, a little bit of highlight to your brow bone perfectly. And again, it's technically for spot concealing or mini concealer brush. So you can use it to spot conceal multiple uses. This brush will stay dirty in your collection. I promise you, you'll use it so much. It's amazing. Next up, we have the pencil brush, which is just mandatory for detail work. Now, if you want to add a little bit of color, by the way, this is the E36. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm so excited. <laughs> This is the E36 brush. It is from the Elite Collection, so it is so soft. Now, the reason I like the pencil brush from the Elite Collection, Morphe has a lot of pencil brushes, but this special one is the one that I like because pencil brushes are small and the bristles are short. So whenever it's not the Elite Collection, the bristles are not this soft. They get a little bit pokey and they can kind of hurt your eye. So with the Elite Collection, the brushes aren't as raspy. They're more soft, so this one won't hurt your eye. That's just a tiff with me in pencil brushes, so this is my go-to. So I like to do little work in the crease with this. Um, I always like to apply inner corner color with this. I like to blend out the lower lash line like this. Any smaller detail work, you'll want to use this brush for. And last but certainly not least is the eyeliner brush. Girl, when in doubt, you guys know I be winging it out. So I have a liner brush. This is the M250-1 liner brush. So basically it's just a skinny little liner brush with a very precise tip and it is perfect perfect for wing liner. It has a little bit of flexibility to it so you can flick it and get that wing really easily. It is an amazing liner brush and it's my absolute favorite must have. So that is the collection and I hope I broke it down for you guys and you guys have a good understanding on how to use each brush. Um, so again, this is an $81 value for $54 plus 15% off with the code LAURALEE15. That code works until the 13th of April. It stops at 11 59 PST time and then you can just use my regular code which is Laura Lee um, for 10% off but I have a Morphe's favorite section if you're wanting to test out some Morphe products. Cat's Pajamas on Morphe website there's a bunch of stuff on there and I will have everything linked down below and all the information in the description box so don't forget to check that out before you leave. Thank you guys so much for being such amazing supporters and giving me opportunities like this. Thank you Morphe for working with me and allowing me to put this collection together and create a brush and create a beautiful bag to put it in so I'm so excited and if you don't want to pay for shipping by the way stop by a Morphe store because they will be in stores for Morphe and I have a favorite section tower in stores and I get so excited when you guys tweet me that you see it I'm like oh my god I feel famous I just feel so cool with that but it's such an amazing opportunity thank you guys thank you Morphe I love you guys so much that is it for this video guys thank you so much for all your love and support I will see you all in my next video